Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be going over how to set up for an albino lion grind here in Savannah. Now I do apologize for my voice, I have been a little bit under the weather, but I am starting to feel better, so we are definitely going to go ahead and make a video today. So lions drink here in Savannah from 12 until 1500, they have a 3 hour drink time which isn't that long. Now the very first thing you want to do when setting up a lion grind, or any grind at all, is find all of your drink zones. Now when you look at the map, lions drink pretty much everywhere on the inside of the map except for these two bottom left lakes. You won't find any lions at this lake or this lake and you will never find lions drinking along the coast but every single lake besides these two needs to be checked for lion drink zones and I find that the zones come out in stages. The very first time you go to a lake to find zones you will probably find some lion zones but you do need to go back and recheck every single lake because they won't all come out at the same time. Now the other thing you want to be very cognizant of is are we looking at a solo zone or a herd zone now you want to be setting up if at all possible on herd zones because when you shoot anything that is in a solo zone or you shoot the last animal from any zone that will delete the zone so for example I'm gonna shoot this big boy lion right here he does appear to be the only lion in this zone and then that lion zone will more than likely disappear and that's it for him. I love hunting lions. I just think they're just so awesome. One of the coolest species in the entire game and splat. And there goes a female. So if you are grinding for a diamond lion or any of the rares, I'm personally grinding for an albino male lion. You only want to be shooting males. Males will respawn as males and females will respawn as females. So if you're looking for a rare female, then you want to be shooting the females as well but I'm just looking for a male, so I will not be shooting any females. Now you can shoot lions that are in solo zones, but you are gonna have to refine the zone, and the more zones that you have, the more consistently your lions are going to respawn. Please tell me he didn't go for a swim. Where'd he go, my dude? Where did he go? Oh, he did float. <laughs> Stinking floater. There he is. I ran all the way around and he floated. Okay, but stick around right to the end of the video, guys. I am going to share a hotspot map with you, showing you exactly where all of my lion drink zones are. You won't have exactly the same zones as I do, but your zone should be very similar. Now, if you do get a floater, guys, just wait wherever it was that you took your shot. Your animal will float straight to where you were when you fired. And there he is. Double lung from 109 meters, and that is a really nice lion level seven very sweet so right now we are on the what I call the twin lakes I just make up names for them because they aren't all named although I don't know if I can pronounce that anyway so if you look here I have a lion zone one two three four five and six lion zones and I did have one on the end here and sadly it did vanish on me now as far as inventory goes I actually have created a loadout called the lion and moose grind loadout for myself and in my loadout I have one 300 canning magnum. Now you can use the non DLC 338, you can use the bolt action 338, which is actually pretty great on lions, or you can use the 300, which I like the best. But they're all going to do a great job for you. Aside from that, you can use the 7 millimeter bolt action, you can use the non DLC 7 millimeter, but you do need a rifle that gets all the way up to class 9 because lions are class 9 species. So I have my ammo, I have the Hyperion, I always carry with me the predator distress fawn collar now the other collar you can use if you do prefer is the predator jackrabbit collar it will also work on lions and jackals then I have with me the first aid kit which is kind of redundant because if a lion touches you there are no second chances you are going to die that's more for capes and things like that I do have my scent eliminator my apex view daytime binoculars we don't need the gen zeros because lions drink in the daylight which is delightful Delightful. And then I do have with me tents and tripods and just a friendly reminder guys to always purchase the same variation when purchasing tents or tripods or any hunting structure because they stack. Carrying one or 50, as long as they are the same color, they will weigh exactly the same. So that is very important. So that is my loadout and that's all I really need. 
So once you have found all of your drink zones for lions, then you wanna set up with tents and tripods. Now you wanna drop your tent at least 250 meters back from the zone. I would say 250 to 300 meters. And then I like to drop my tripod approximately 200 meters away from the zone. Guys, let me know in the comments what your absolute best lion trophy is so far. And if you are enjoying the video or finding it helpful in any way, please hit that like button so it can spread to more people. Thank you guys so much. Now you don't have to have tripods. Usually we are not shooting too many lions out of the zone and they are very expensive, but lions pay amazingly well. They are definitely one of the best paid species in the game. And this is definitely a herd zone. So this is a zone you definitely want to be setting up on because there is a female here with this male. I know that when I shoot this male, that zone is not going to delete. And if you lose too many of your solo zones, what can happen is the lion Lions will not want to respawn for you or they will be less consistent in respawning and you want your lions to respawn as fast as they possibly can to make your grind nice and efficient. Now you'll notice that lions have this up and down drinking animation so you do have to be careful when taking that shot. A broadside shot is always your best option if you have the choice. Now what I do is I wait for them to stand and I try and take that shot as quick as possible. Now usually you will get an opportunity to take a second shot, but we don't need to here. And splat, beautiful. Now the nice thing about shooting out of a tripod or any hunting structure is that you're going to get much reduced hunting pressure. And the faster the hunting pressure goes away, the faster you're gonna get respawns in there. So it's always a good thing to have less hunting pressure. Now if I were to have had two males here, I probably only would have shot one of them just so I can protect that zone. I know it feels like that lion is not going to leave and will probably kill us, but by the time you run over there, it will actually leave before you get there most of the time. Beautiful double lung shot from 156 meters with the 300. I still love the 300. And that lion is gonna pay us $1,449, which is very sweet. So we are in the top right hand corner and on this lake here, I have a lion zone here and a lion zone here. So I've set up back here and there's my tripod and I can shoot at either zone. So when you are actually running around and finding your zones, when you find a really nice herd zone, what I would recommend doing is setting up on it immediately. Drop that tent 250 to 300 meters away and drop a tripod and just set up as you go. Now you are gonna need 16 tents and 16 tents at 16,000 each is I believe $256,000. So it's not cheap, but those tents will last you forever. You can just gather them up when you are done and use them for your next grind. Now a couple updates ago lions did change and they definitely have some locations that are better than others. This is in my opinion the very best lake for lions on the map. Now I have had all of these drink zones be lion zones. Unfortunately I have deleted some of them due to solo zones so now I am waiting for them to come back. I wish there were no solo zones. It definitely makes the grind a lot trickier. Now Savannah can be a very very thick map. Some Sometimes you have lions here and you would never even know that they're there. So one thing that sometimes I do in order to find my drink zones is run the perimeter of the lake. That way I can pick up the need zone indicators that are hiding behind the tall grass and find more drink zones that way. So this here is a need zone indicator for lions. I already do have this zone, but that tells me that this is a solo zone. So it's really not something I wanna be setting up on. Now, if I did have an eight mythical in it, I would definitely shoot it and go and refine that zone. There's no guarantee it's gonna come back in the exact same place it might but there is a good chance it is going to go somewhere else so I do have males in this zone they are just not respawning right now so it looks like we need to find more zones and that's what's gonna happen if you don't have all your zones or you're missing a significant number they are just really picky and they don't like to respawn so finding all your zones is super duper important now guys, I wanna bring your attention to a certain area on the map where there are drink zones that you probably normally wouldn't find. 
Look at that. That is a lion drink zone. Isn't that crazy? Now, I understand there can be three, even four drink zones in this area, and I have been really searching, and I have only found one so far. So what you'll want to do is come out here, and whenever you pick up a track, which is what I have right here, I do have a male lion track. I'm going to track it, and hopefully it is going to lead me to a drink zone. So right now it is past the end of lion drink time. There should still be need zone indicators out here for a while. So another spot that you do want to check for lion drink zones is down here in the fever tree forest and I know it's a very strange place but I checked and I used to have a lion drink zone here so it is worth checking. I haven't found one yet but definitely have a peek down there. So I counted and right now to date I have 35 drink zones for lions and I am sure that I am missing some because I don't have any on this lake and I did before. It looks like I shot at some solo zones and I did have two zones disappear. This was a lion zone and this was a lion zone. So I'm guessing that there is more than 40 drink zones for lions in Savannah. If you do know the exact amount, guys, please let me know in the comments below. So once you have found all of your lion drink zones or the majority of them, what you want to do is start grinding those lions. And the strategy that I'm using is I am not going to be shooting level fours. When I do find a level four lion, I am just going to leave it there and just pretend it doesn't exist. Besides that, I'm going to be shooting all the males and just go from zone to zone, tripod to tripod, and shoot as many male lions as I possibly can until the time runs out. I am going to be using all 16 tents. Now, often I can use one tent for multiple zones, so you want to be getting to as many zones as you can in one time rotation. So after a while, your codex is going to start looking like this, and it is mostly golds that I have been getting, and that is a very good thing because that gives me a very high chance of spawning a gold albino and that is what I am after. And that was beautiful. And the nice thing about lions is they do not go far, not a lot of tracking required usually, and splat. Uh oh, uh oh, don't kill me. We spooked something. Now, when you go to a zone and you don't see anything, definitely hammer on that collar. There could be lions hiding in the crazy tall grasses of Savannah. If you do have a spot that it will take you forever to run over and pick up your lion, it is okay to drop a tent and have a pickup tent, and you don't have to put that tent 250 meters away. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? Hello, there's a big one. Okay, I don't think I'll blow out any zones. I don't have a tripod. How you doing, my buddy? splat and we have a floater but the hard part is really just setting up finding your zones and getting it all set up and the fun part is the shooting part as long as they respawn then after that all you need to do is set the time to lie and drink time i usually set it for about 12 45 and then i start jumping from zone to zone and shoot those male lions now, if you get to a zone and nothing is there, guys, go to the next zone and continue your grind and then just go back after and there is a good chance your lion will be there. Just keep checking back and they should eventually come in. Now, the rares for lions include blonde, dark brown, and albino. And that was a double long heart shot and, ooh, he was a big one. So 48.5 is diamond for lion. Very sweet. Blonde and dark brown have a 0.29% spawn rate. Albino lions have a 0.07% spawn rate. So you know what that means? That means you will spawn, according to the statistics, seven albinos out of 10,000 kills. So pulling one out of 2,000 kills shouldn't be that hard. So let's all go out and spawn a big old male albino lion. Okay, so this is everywhere where I have drink zones. Now, the red X's are where there could potentially be zones. I don't have those zones yet, but I know other people who do, so definitely check there as well. Click right here for parts one and part two of the Savannah Super Guide for all the hotspot maps for every species on the map. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.